let's introduce you to the godfather no not this godfather we're talking about the chinese mobile godfather duan young ping so without wasting any more time let's get straight into it china currently has four successful phone manufacturers oppo vivo realme and oneplus but these four successful and rather new companies have but one thing in common Duan Youngping. Yup, this guy basically owns it all. Duan Youngping, also known as Duan King, is a Chinese entrepreneur and investor. The reclusive entrepreneur has billions to his name, but lives and breathes rather secretly. He is the founder of BBK Electronics Corporation, a multinational conglomerate that specializes in consumer electronics including smartphones, televisions, and audio equipment. BBK Electronics is the parent company of several well-known brands as mentioned before, like Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus, and Realme. Duan Youngping was born in 1961 in Chongqing, China. He enrolled at Zhejiang University in the eastern city of Hangzhou in 1978 and declared wireless electronics engineering as his major. After a brief term as a teacher at the Beijing Radio 2 Factory's Adult Education Center, Duan carried his education at the prestigious Remnin University of China, formerly known as the People's University, where he graduated with a master's degree in economics in 1989. He joined Zongshan Yihua Group in the same year to manage a failing factory and turn it into a successful enterprise in the southern coastal region of Guangdong. He founded Subra Electronics Industry, where he served as CEO to produce low-cost video gaming systems. This was the first of his entrepreneurial journey. Subra was very successful in producing learning machines that were low-cost knockoffs of Nintendo's Famicom computers. With the aid of that well-liked product dubbed The Little Tyrant in China, and supported by the likes of Jackie Chan, a martial arts legend from Hong Kong, Yihua was able to turn a profit of roughly 1 billion yuan, which amounts to 148 million US dollars each year in 1995, as opposed to a loss of 2 million yuan when Duan joined the company in 1989. Despite his success, Duan and Yihua had a public falling out after the latter rejected his idea to spin off Super and acquire a stake in the new business. In August 1995, he departed Yihua and later that year, he founded the electronics company BBK, in which he held a controlling stake of 70%. Under his leadership, BBK Electronics expanded its presence both domestically and internationally. The company's subsidiaries, particularly Oppo and Vivo, have gained prominence in the global smartphone market. Duan acknowledged that creating mobile phones was not really his area of expertise, but he believed his business could succeed in the sector. That choice turned out to be wise because when 3G and then 4G mobile networks spread across the nation, sales of Android devices under the Chinese brand skyrocketed. Between 2010 and 2012, as 3G mobile services spread across the nation, Demand for mobile phones of Chinese brands increased by 50% annually. By 2013, this had started to slow down in preparation for the launch of faster 4G services by three mobile network operators on the mainland. China once had 300 domestic mobile phone carriers, and it has the largest internet population and smartphone market in the world. In 2021, when Chinese consumers bought fewer cell phones and the economy grew more slowly, fierce competition decreased that number to around 200. Duan Youngping is known for his low-profile approach and has been described as a secretive figure in the business world. Despite his success, he maintains a relatively low public profile and rarely appears in the media. He has a reputation of being a shrewd businessman and is recognized for his ability to adapt to market trends and consumer demands. Duan and BBK could not be reached despite numerous attempts. The Chinese millionaire, who spoke on an interview in 2017, 
was revealed to have invested early in Pinduo Duo, the third largest e-commerce company in China, which was started by his friend and protege, Colin Wang Zhang. In accordance with the 2018 Harun China Rich List, Wan's net worth was calculated to be 10 billion yuan, which is roughly 1.5 billion US dollars. Additionally, Duan engaged in a well-reported discussion with Chinese students at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, the home of Duan's family. In order to give Chinese students at the university's School of Engineering undergraduate scholarships and graduate fellowships, Duan and his wife, Liu Xin, a former journalist, established their families and light foundation. Duan first gained international attention toward the end of June 2006 when he consented to spend a then record sum of $620,000 in an eBay bid to meet the renowned investment guru Warren Buffett, the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, for a power lunch at a New York steakhouse. Warren Buffett and his investment approach have taught me a lot, Duan said. I'd like an opportunity to express my gratitude. As an investor, Duan Youngping has been involved in various ventures and startups. He has made significant investments in the technology and internet sectors, supporting companies such as Xiaomi, LeEcho, and Mobike. His investment choices have shown a focus on disruptive technologies and innovative business models. Duan said he dislikes making risky investments. Duan immigrated to the United States in 2002 to join his family. He said, Only bet on the things you understand. Pay close attention to how the company operates and how it produces money. 95% of investors are concerned with what the market will do. That's incorrect. Duan Youngping's legacy extends beyond his entrepreneurial achievements. His strategic insights, willingness to disrupt established norms, and dedication to making a difference have shaped the technology landscape in China and beyond. As he continues to inspire future generations of entrepreneurs, his story serves as a testament to the transformative power of innovation, perseverance, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Enjoyed this video? Share your feedback with us in the comments section. Don't forget to give it a like and of course, subscribe to our channel for regular content. We'll catch you later.